Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's story, P found out his spouse cheated on him with her manager after he found text on her phone that describes them doing some interesting things in a Walmart parking lot. In today's second story, Op found out his girlfriend of three years cheated on him with a coworker. So he kicked her out and now she is begging for mercy after realizing she is homeless and broke. Now let's get into today's stories. I was married and got divorced a few years ago. I found love with a friend I have known for years who I can find it in who I can only see myself with. She had been in failed relationships. And together we began a new journey with our motto and so together they built a life they loved together. We decided that I who had been in a dead-end job would resign to embark on a new career. I have gone through specific training, going through a pretty arduous trainee process. This thing has been lengthy with little income. She has been incredibly gracious in keeping the ship afloat and especially in the last six months has carried us both eyeing the finish line. By the end of the year, I have been eager to get the required licensing and build my book of business so that we could start to do all the things we had discussed. Big picture dreams, side note, incredible sex life, more laughing than I've ever experienced. I asked her to marry me months ago and she happily accepted and we were really riding on a high. The lack of income had taken its toll. I had begun feeling very inadequate, wishing I could provide, give her a sense of security, etc. On multiple occasions, she had expressed feelings that she didn't feel secure and that she often felt alone during the process. I'll admit I have felt like a shell of myself. I grew up instilled with a hard work ethic and have confidently assured her that this chapter will be but a blip on our shared journey. I have my faults. I know that I have not been the romantic. I was prior to embarking on this career change. I also realize the immense pressure and stress this has put on her emotionally, mentally, and especially financially. So this brings us to last Wednesday, September 28th. She went to an industry event, a yearly thing hosted by an industry leader. I knew who she went with. Her company is small, consisting of the owner, a friend and a neighbor of the street, her assistant, female and a few technicians, one particular employee who I refer to as Jake has often flirted who is married but is apparently divorcing also due to infidelity on her part. My spouse often spoke of the guy as a good worker, but that he had maintained a puppy love with her. I had shaken the guy's hand. He knew who I was. I had voiced my concerns about his flirting and I had felt secure in knowing nothing was there. Her boss was out of town. So she went to the event with her assistant and Jake. He was their sales manager and made $100,000 a year. She told me it wouldn't be a late night. She arrived at 5.30. She thought she would head home at 8-ish 9.30 rolled around. And at that point, I was winding down. It was a weeknight. After all, we both permanently share our location. My training often had me going out of town. So the location sharing was just a means for us both in case something happened. I saw she had left the venue and was nearby and in a public place. She was an adult. I didn't need to know everything but I sent a text just to see how is it going up there. She replied, it's a great night and that she would be home soon. She came home and she was on cloud nine saying the night with the vendors went well and she was proud of how she represented her company. We went to bed with no issues. The next day though, I noticed a marked difference in her, especially when she arrived back home from work. There was tension I asked, is everything okay? She replied yes, but I could tell she was lying Friday. I had the day off because we were heading out of town to attend an engagement party for us thrown by a family member of hers. Members of my family were coming down. I got a text afterward that she was running to pick up an order from Walmart for items for the party. My mind at that point had been racing starting when she arrived home from that event. In an instance outside of my character, I opened her new MacBook and immediately went to her messages. That's when I saw it. She had met up with Jake. There was clearly something going on. I went back and continued reading further back for weeks. 
It was their flirting escalating in nature. My hands were shaking. There were texts after their meet-up in the Walmart parking lot discussing a kiss and her enjoying the feeling of being in his arms. I knew she was on her way home. I was shaking. I purposefully left the MacBook open while it was in my home office. It was there. I was outside composing myself when my watch notified me of her arrival through a ring camera in her driveway. I waited a minute. She was in the house upon entering. It was clear. She had walked through the front office and had discovered my discovery. She was cold without asking. She said yes, it's real. It's happening. The next 30 to 45 minutes were a blur. I was shattered. She was stoic. She brought up the last six months and that it was merely a crush, but there were feelings discussed. She said that it was nothing but I know what I saw. She was defensive though into her credit, I invaded her MacBook on my hunch. She said she was going to talk to me that evening. It was the night prior to our engagement party where both families would be in attendance. She was my person. I immediately made the decision that I chose her and she replied with the same, we even had our party. We even had sex over the weekend, over the weekend. We had small discussions, and she was even vocally regretful Monday rolled around and we were back to reality. She was back at work. She stated that she needed to keep the status quo because they were a small company and the guy's efforts were needed at that stage in the company's existence. Since Friday's revelation, there were only three people that knew this is already so long. It's late Thursday and I am broken. I have tried to maintain my cool. She says she loves me. She wants me that I am her person. She's also very quick to want to move on. I feel like I am approaching a breaking point. Op, please open your eyes. Do you really believe this woman if you really need to fix this? The first and foremost thing for her to do will be to quit her job and go no contact with her AP. This is the minimum that she must do. She has to convince you that she is going to fix what she is destroying through her actions and not through her words. You screwed up by not cancelling the engagement party. What makes you think? She's just not biding her time to shuffle you out of her life and replace you with him. That's where this is headed. Her behavior. Post-discovery shows that she's not even pretending to be guilty. She's a cake eater at best. So of course she wants to continue on like it never happened. She's not prepared to take the flack for breaking up with you, do yourself a favor and cut her loose. Send her off to be with Jake. They deserve each other. You deserve much, much better. Now, let's get into today's second story. So my ex-girlfriend of three years recently cheated on me with her co-worker. When I first met her, she had nothing, no job barely any money and no car. She was living with her mother until she got kicked out. This isn't the first time she's jumped from house to house with family members or friends. So I took her in to live with me at my mother's house. We've been dating for about nine months when this happened, but we were already very close and we loved each other. I helped pick her up from school. I gave her a place to stay when she had no job or money. I fought every day at my job to get her to work at my job. And she eventually got hired, I helped teach her how to drive and was there when she got her license, I was there to bring her to her graduation when she really had no one. Eventually. When she was getting financially stable, she wanted to get a car and I was the one who helped her. It wasn't the best car, but it got her from point A to point B during our three years together, we obviously had arguments, but that's normal. She also was very bipolar and didn't use many manners with people. So sometimes I thought to myself that she was kind of different from me during the relationship. There were a lot of arguments and she was that person that didn't like the silent treatment or didn't like to see me ignore her when we needed to cool down. She would keep poking me and provoking me to keep arguing with her and then get really emotional to the point where she threatened to kill herself. If I left her, I will admit there was a time I gave her a one-inch punch to the arm because I was dealing with a spine injury and she took my phone away from me. When I didn't want to argue, I just wanted to look at TikToks. She grabbed me and even dug her nails into my skin.
so I would let go of my phone. She pulled me and refused to give my phone back while I had so much pain in my spine and sciatic nerve. I wanted to just ignore the situation and let us cool down anyways. Fast forward to the situation. She ended up getting depressed and upset about our job because it got so bad and I agreed with her. So she ended up finding a new job and I was proud of her. She would work overnight and come back home in the morning. But it started getting a little weird because while most couples don't care about not shaving their legs or making sure they're very clean and good looking at times when they're very close, she made sure she looked amazing and made sure to shave almost every day. Mind you, this was a warehouse job. So there was no point in looking amazing there. It had been a month since she started working there and all of a sudden she started working every day overnight and always had some excuse or some story about why she was going to work early or coming home late. She looked guilty, but I trusted her. So I didn't question it. That was until one day I started getting these gut feelings like really bad. And I decided to check our tablet and I saw messages of her talking to another guy in a very fury way, even talking about how they couldn't wait to see each other later, cuddle with each other and even going out on dates. When I found this out, my world just shattered and I couldn't believe it at the time, I was trying to contact her from work. But guess what? She wasn't at work, she was hanging out with him. So my dumb self at the time got upset and gave her PC a good punch which broke some things out of anger and confusion. She laughed at me on the phone when I was heartbroken, thinking of all our memories, vacations and our bucket lists. A week later after kicking her out, she wanted to talk and we did, but she showed no sympathy and kept denying the cheating and was saying that she needed to love herself right now and that the relationship was getting toxic. I hadn't been showing her the honeymoon stage anymore. And the reason why this all happened was because of me. But mind you, I always took her to sporting events out to eat to the movies, etc. Almost every day, even after having surgery, she ended up moving in with this person who was younger than me and had a sports car that she liked all of a sudden who she barely knew for a month. And she told him that I was abusive and that I never loved her and that she lost weight because she didn't eat, but she never made anything for herself. It was always me making her food or making her smoothies. My mother lived with us to see all this and didn't like the way she treated me. My ex ended up telling me that this guy supposedly was there for her and showed her that he would help fix her and never hurt her. Not only me, but all her friends and her friends cut ties with her because they knew how she was and what she did was disrespectful to all of us. They also even seen the proof. I eventually blocked her on everything and she still lies about things with this guy. Even though there's proof, she even told him that I'm still currently messaging her at night when I'm the one who blocked her and I have all the screenshots of her trying to get to me. So what do you guys think? Am I at fault here? Op you white knighted her. This was an unhealthy relationship dynamic that was destined to fail. That doesn't mean you deserve to be cheated on, but it guaranteed the relationship was never as healthy as you perceive it. It creates a relationship imbalance. You can't save someone. She used you to get herself back on her feet and for refuge. Then monkey branched to someone she thought would be better. I know it hurts but just let her continue being toxic. She'll blow up this current relationship she's in and then probably start to spiral. You don't know it now, but you just pulled a huge leech off your back. Focus on surrounding yourself with great people that make you feel good about yourself. Thanks for taking the time to listen to today's story. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If there is a story you would like to share with me about your own situation or someone else's